So we are at, what's it called, Don Buraco Ramen in Kashiwa, Chiba. Um, there's a bit of a queue today. Looks uh, popular, that's a good sign. Uh, we're located down a back street of well, Kashiwa City. So we're just waiting to get in. Hey, what's up guys? So it's TMD in the building, another TMD ramen review. And we have ordered, which looks to be the biggest size that they can do. I think it's miso based. With bean sprouts, noodles. I don't know what the rest of it is, but uh, what's the place called? Tomboraku Ramen. Tomboraku. Tomboraku Ramen in Kashiwa. No pictures, unfortunately. It's a back street little ramen restaurant. But apparently, this place does, uh, I think, teppanyaki style food in the evening because it closes at two. What is it? Miyamanja? Konomiyaki, isn't it? Oh, okay. Konomi it's like kind of an Osaka style food. But, um, hopefully I can get some video footage of what's going on in the, in the kitchen. We've got the back seat. Um, in terms of condiments, there's not really anything for ramen here. Like the red paste, uh, black pepper, white pepper. Oh, there's white pepper there, sorry. But there's no red miso paste. I don't know what. What did you order, you Kai? Me. Yeah. Me want skimming. Skimming. Okay. So they've got. You want miso meat? Right. Right. And no garlic. Right. Oh, garlic. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of compact in here. <laughs> you can't really see much, but uh, in the corner there. The guys are working hard away. It's a very small place. So we shall wait and see what's going to go down. So guys, we've got our ramen. Two beautiful bits of chashu. I had to get the extra one as a side topping with extra bean sprouts, which is here. Garlic, mince with lots and lots of bean sprouts and I believe this is the uh, the miso stock so let's not waste any time ladies and gentlemen first thing I always do try the stock mm. It's very, very clean. Very, very clean. Monster portion. It's a very simple taste, but delicious.
she's nice. Let me Not much left now, guys. <sighs> that chash. It's not very fatty, but the fat is actually inside the ramen stock. Basically, this ramen restaurant is very simple, very unique. Um, a little bit different from previous ramen reviews that we've been doing every Sunday with me and Yukari and the kids. Um, stock, clean, simple, very Japanese style kind of simplicity, you know, works all the time. The miso isn't very prominent in the stock. The noodles are very thick and chewy. Obviously, I've just had like one of the medium-sized bowls, actually, that was. That wasn't the biggest that they do. Um, it's sitting quite heavy in my stomach. Um, the toppings are fine. The chashu is a little bit different from the chashus that I've been having recently. Um, it seems that they removed the fat from the, the pork loin and added that fat on top of the soup, uh, on top of the toppings. I think they separate the fat. Um, there's not really a complaint that I have, um, but if it was me, I, would, I was kind of hoping they would have maybe some red miso paste, something to give it something more. Um, I just feel it, it's there, but it needs tweaking slightly. Um, the black pepper was a saviour. Without this pepper, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much. Um, Value-wise, reasonable. I think it's about a thousand yen, something over a thousand yen. Um, and apart from that, everything, everything is fine. Um, it's clean, decent. Um, like I said, it just needs... I think some red miso chili paste to the end. Just to round the whole flavour out. But some Japanese people don't like that, which is fine. You know, but like I said, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully catch you next Sunday for another uh, ramen review restaurant. And I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, by the way, uh, I've got my new... Um, Got my new Teespring account for merchandise. 
Um, the links will be in the description and I hope to hope to catch you guys on the next one. Take care, peace. And before we go, this is a, a garden next to where we parked. We've got some uh, nice bonsai. Some sakura, some pines. Pretty dope, man. I can see the guy's got some uh, bonsai's pruned up. Awesome.